Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, do you think we should build an, an island between Iceland and Greenland, or do you think that they need, like, the... I guess that one little area there's not really... There's only, like, ten, five blocks between the two. Uh, we could build a, a walkway. Yeah. Bridge. Right, that's what I meant. You didn't mean an island. Oh, did I say an I island between? You said an island, and I was a little bit confused that we were building an island between two islands. Because then we just get into, well, then should we build an island between the new island that we made and yeah. each of the islands? I think we should build a tunnel underground between our between one of our islands and the main island. Okay. And like put like a railway in it, like like old school Minecraft. You know, do the the water uh, or the glass walls and stuff like you did before yeah, in uh, cool. season two? That'd be cool. I think that would be pretty cool. It's not that far either. No. But how deep is the ocean is the question. Do we go under the ocean or do we make it so you can like, it's like an Elon Musk, I can see the tunnel. Um. Hmm. Actually, if you did it where you could see the ocean, that'd be pretty cool, I think. Now, the question is, where do we go start harvesting sand from? Because we wouldn't want to do that from here. Right. I've seen on the map that there is uh, a desert. Someone that someone, Someone's found a desert. There's a mesa, too, that's been found. So that would be the way to go. Yeah, we'll have to see where that's located so i guess we got a good plan for that i'm afraid to leave this island right now though because i want these uh sheep to be able to still be breeding there we go then. do you guys have a um a bag tax no no that's not what kind of thing okay so we implemented one a couple of years ago. There's a, a five cent bag tax in DC, right? And what would would you be uh, upset if they implemented a bag tax? No, I don't think that that affects me really. <clears throat> um, and it's a, it's it's for a good reason. Um, I understand the 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 logic behind the bag tax. Um, so no. So I will tell you, I'm the same in the same way. And the fact that it's five cents is. When I'm grocery shopping, I spend, let's say, you know, $50. It's a small grocery shopping chip. 50 bucks on groceries. Right. And I get five bags. So I'm spending an extra 25 cents right. on bags. And that's how I look at it is it's like it's super cheap. It doesn't really matter. I will tell you, everybody I go shopping with who goes to a... um. You scan place or the self checkout. Uh -huh. If I'm the one in charge of the checkout, always look at me baffled uh -huh. because <laughs> I said I took X number of bags. Right? How dare you? And they're always like, "Why don't you just say zero? And I'm like, "Why the fuck would I just? Why would I say zero? Well, because it saves you money. Because yeah. everybody has this like idea that it's okay to. I mean, they, just say, that's like you could. That's like basically saying it's okay to steal a pack of gum, right? Exactly, and that's that's. And I don't think people look at it the same way at all. And I feel very much in the minority, and it's weird because especially it's at my fire department a lot. It's because we have to go out to you know we get food from Safeway every you know shift to go because we get food cards from there, and we'll go buy our food for what we're gonna cook. And everybody always gets pissed off at me because I hit the button that we took two bags. I'm like, dude, it's 10 cents. Like, what money are we really saving besides 10 cents? Like, what was that going to make a difference in our grocery shopping trip here on what we're going to eat tonight? Right. That we had 10 extra cents worth of bag fees. And I'll tell you, it's really bad in the cafeteria at my hospital. There, the people, people constantly ask for bags and the cashiers are always like that'll be five cents and people get i've seen them get very very pissed off and i kind of get it if you're coming from virginia you guys gotta remember dc is you know all uh, right between virginia and maryland maryland is the same thing i'm not sure if virginia does so i'd get it if you're coming from one of those states and you didn't realize there was a 
a bag tax that it throws you off a little bit to be a little bit like I I got to give you five cents all of a sudden like because especially if you're at the cafeteria they're not giving out bags to everybody who walks through the cafeteria line uh-huh. so they finish their transaction and then they're like oh I I need a bag and then that'll be five cents and you know you can't add it to the credit card receipt anymore <laughs> because you know you've already finished paying right. But I clearly have seen employees who work there, who know this, who always will wait until the transaction is over to ask for a bag mm, because like they're, trying to, like, they're trying the to get they're, they're trying to get the person in a lot. A lot of times you'll see the cashier kind of like give up and just give them the bag because I don't think they want to deal with having an argument with somebody over five cents. Right. <laughs> they know that that's going to come. And it baffles me. That people seem to really, I'm going to go out of my way to make sure that I don't pay this five cents for this bag. Like, fuck the man. Fuck them. I'm saving five cents. Fuck the man. Fuck the environment. I mean, they, that's the thing. That's page, the, It's know? the environment that this is supposed to be helping with. Like, I don't But understand. I don't, but people, but you know, people don't really see it that way. They should. You know, well, the people who are clearly trying to jip the system clearly don't see it that way. Right. I'm not arguing with you. I'm just saying that they, they're, they're just wrong. Oh, I, yeah, I understand. I'll tell you at McDonald's, you know, I worked at McDonald's for many, many, many years of my life. And people would constantly, like, there is a, a, we actually had a rule about it, too. It was so weird. McNuggets. For oh, extra a four sauce piece, packs? you got one sauce pack. Yeah, extra sauce packs. Like, what you're allowed to have. Four pieces and six pieces, you're supposed to get one sauce packet. You're allowed to have one extra for policy for free. Anything over that you have to charge for. So what people do in the drive-thru is they will wait till they get to the second window where they're getting their food, like the one after they've paid, and ask for more sauce packs. And our right. policy was to not hold up the line. You just oh comply, give them the sauce packs to keep the line moving. Really? Okay. People knew this. I don't know if like it's everywhere. That's the what my particular McDonald's right. and my franchise had that regular that that rule back in the day because we used to have when you stop somebody and try to charge them for a sauce packet at that point and you're really holding with a line during a rush, it's not worth it. You know, for the fifteen cents or twenty cents or whatever right. you charge for a sauce packet, not worth it to delay all those people lose out on that business. People would abuse that because they would learn. That if I ask for it the second window, and you get it for free. And when you work at McDonald's for long enough, you actually get some of the customers who would do this on a regular basis. You become friends with regulars, and they would tell you exactly what they were doing all the time. Um, like they tell you the things that they were getting away with from your, you know, your restaurant. And it's so funny because I used to live completely on the poor college student clause. Like I'm allowed to download music illegally. I'm allowed to pirate software illegally because I'm a poor college student. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm older now and I just but I find like when I was back in the day, like I try to get away with free stuff from fast food restaurants. Sure. I remember friends in high school used to talk about trying to the the one McDonald's that they used to get away with it multiple times at that they would go to the they'd order. They drive past the first window where they knew they had to pay, just straight up to the second window. And if somebody came out and said, oh, you're supposed to stop there. We need the money. They'd be like, oh, and act like they didn't know it better, any better. But sometimes the person would just be fast and hand them the food and not pay attention to the fact that they had really? to pay at the last window. Yeah. Huh. Never tried that. So <laughs> people try things like that all the time. And they would brag about, like, I got away with it. Or, or, you know, oh, they. Yeah. I'll That's pretend I didn't know what I was doing, you know, this and that. And when you're in high school, when you're in college and you're broke, it almost makes you feel like it's okay. Maybe it's because I'm older now and I have a yeah. job and I realize like it's the stupidity and all that stuff. But I see people with jobs that are getting decent pay who are trying to get away with the five cent bag. Yeah. And it it baffles me. I started watching the show on Netflix. It's, it's kind of related. Is it called the five cent bag? No, theft? but it, it's it's about these people that go to prison. It's called first and last day or something like that. Um, okay. First and last, maybe what it's called. It's about like your their first day in prison, their last day in prison. The it's, same person? No, uh, different people. Um, so like every episode, it's got there's a handful of people who it's their first day and a handful of people that's their last day. Um, so you don't get to know much about them. It's not like you follow these people for months or anything like that. Um, and it kind of gives you a wrap up at the end, like six months later, this person's still, you know, doing well. Or six months later, this they're person back in got jail. shanked. Yeah, yeah, they're dead now. Um, so you know, kind of does that. 
but what's interesting to me is some of the stupid ass things people are getting locked up over. Like when I'm watching the show, like, wow, wow, you're going to jail for that? Like, I don't know. It's kind of reminded me with the shit you're talking about where like people do these little petty things that are technically against the law. Like even like the still enough damn 10 cents worth of bags. Um, I mean, that's still theft. It's still it's the same as still a pack of gum. Um, there, there was what show was it on Netflix? I was watching is it's not the same one that you're talking about, but it was a prison documentary show and it was kind of very strange to see similar, but different, but there was like murderers in for 10 years. And then there was a guy on his second drug possession charge who was there for 20 and I'm like, but, but, but what, right? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Yeah, that was like that guy. Too. That guy had drugs on him, and he's in for twenty years now because it was a second offense. That dude killed somebody, and he's got half the time. Yeah, there was one girl that was in there for ninety days for violating probation when she had been caught with uh like a a minuscule amount of marijuana, like like basically a roach, and uh, so she got put on probation for that. And then um, her second offense was something real silly. Uh, it wasn't even like she didn't even like. It was like loitering or something like that. But since she was on probation, she got 90 days in prison. It's like 90, 90 fucking days in prison. For loitering. Yeah, it was <laughs> like it was it was bizarre. Like, but she was on probation. So therefore, I don't know. It just kind of blew my mind. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, there was one guy that that I'm, I don't know. Why I'm getting this bed. Babs is on now. Um, he, he it's the thing. I didn't I started Googling, like trying to understand how the system even works. Um, but basically, he got behind. He lost his job, and he owed uh, two thousand dollars a month in child support. Which to me is just like holy fucking shit! Two thousand dollars a month. month? Whoa, whoa, what was his job? Right? Uh, it was exterminating. He, he apparently, he lost it. I, he lost it. I want to apply for it. <laughs> right? Um, he was an exterminator. Apparently, I don't know what the hell he was exterminating like humans. Um, but uh, <laughs> so yeah, lost his job. And so he got three months behind on child support, and, the, and the, the lawyer, I mean, the judge said, you got 30 days to pay it, or we're going to lock you up. And so they locked him up, and now his bond is his back child support. So until he pays his back child support, he could not get out of prison. He spent 60 days in prison for, before finally his brother helped him sell his home so he could pay his back child support to get out of prison. But the motherfucker, you know he's going back. He ain't got a home now. He's homeless. Well, I was going to say, so what, so what happens in that case, though? You put somebody in jail because they owe money. Which means they can't make money to pay the money. That's what I didn't understand. I spent like an hour on Google trying to understand. Like apparently with enough time, you can petition to get the the amount removed. But you're still going to spend this much time. Like your life is ruined at this point. Like you have have prison time on your record. Instead of paying the taxpayers dollars on that too, I just put the tax tax money toward paying that back child support. Right. And then making that person work like a work release program paying it back like something contributing to society as opposed to you live in a jail that we are now paying for your shelter and your food and all that stuff right right well hell a lot of the damn I mean, a lot of these prisons are for profit anyways it's not even a taxpayer thing true, it's true the one that it's following is like one of the biggest in the nation it's in georgia um one of the largest for think, profit prisons mm-hmm. um which is funny. I mean, how I feel dirty even watching the show because I'm figuring they're making even more money by the production of this television show. Oh, uh, God, probably. There's this one woman that got locked up, and she rents rooms in her house. Her and her husband rent rooms. And um, and there's multiple people that in the show get locked up for battery or something like that. And it's like, it's just wild because I, I never get said. So, like, I, when I grew up and there was domestic abuse, my mom was getting her ass kicked, but she wouldn't do anything about it, basically. Um, but, mm. like, a lot of these people are like, the woman gets her ass kicked, she calls the police, and then whenever the police get there, uh, the the guy's like, yeah, man, she's crazy. She hit me, and then she goes to jail. And this happened to my mom once with another man she did after I was long moved out. She called me up one time, she was in jail, and I was like, what, what the fuck are you doing in jail? And because uh, she'd never been locked up for nothing. And uh, she's like, got in a fight with, I don't even remember his name. I think it was Don or some shit like that. Um, and uh, I called the police. And when he got there, he said I was hitting him. So they locked me up. It's like, what? <laughs> um, but that happened several times on the show. But this one, there was this one crazy one where this woman was renting a room to a guy. And she wanted him out because he, he hadn't paid his rent in three months. She wanted him out. And so he wouldn't leave. So she called the police. And the police got there and was like, well, you have to do an official eviction process. And uh, she went in his room while the police were there, and uh, he comes running out saying, she's hitting me, she's hitting me. So they locked this. I mean, it's an old woman. She didn't have no damn clothes on. She's wearing bathrobes. Um, 
Like she's in her sixties or some shit like this. Like it was just, I don't know. It was just crazy to me. Um, so, you know, but, but at the same time, I do like the fact that it's not, it, we're no longer living in a society where it's just, it's because you're the man. You're clearly the one that was. Right. Right. But it just blows wrong. my mind that like, we're just throwing people in jail. I mean, so this woman gets out. She only spends like 72 hours there. She gets out eventually mm. after all the bullshit and, she, and you know, in the follow up, like she files charges against the other guy and he's the one that ends up going to jail in the long run and all this. But it's just crazy to me that someone at that age can get thrown. I mean, there should be like a, some other process that happens before we're just throwing people in jail for, even if it is only 72 hours, like at that age, you ain't ready to spend 72 hours in jail, especially you ain't got a damn clothes on. I can't even imagine like what uh, there's people like I've had friends that have gone to jail uh, not prison never long term but I've had friends that have gone to jail for you know sometimes locked up overnight because I got a DUI or locked up when one of my buddies got hit for like 45 or 60 days or something like that due so to long. some well it, it seems like a very long time. But 40 or 60 days is nothing in, like, the grand scheme of people who are in, like, prison. Right. But still, I can't even imagine what it would be like. But those frequent, like, flyers, especially when you watch those documentaries, it's so weird because those frequent flyers are just like, yeah, I was like, right, right when I got here, I started, like, I realized I had to get my hustle business going. So I started working on, you know, you know, this. It's like, wow, you're just so knowing how jail works that you already know that day one you're starting to hustle to do something to right. make you some type of popularity, I would be in there going, "Don't cry because I don't want to get my ass kicked." <laughs> but I don't know, and I'm not don't even like if I went to jail, it would suck, and I would be very upset if I was going to jail or to prison for some odd reason. But let, let's hope that I wouldn't go in there and cry because, oh my god, I'm in prison. Like though, that would Shit, suck. I probably would. I, I would probably cry because I didn't know what the fuck was happening. Like it, it, just getting thrown into a situation where you no longer any control at all anymore i think that would be worse for me than the thought of just being in jail for you know even like i'd say this the rest of my life yeah that would suck but i think it would be the concept of not knowing what i was in for granted once i realized what that like what the day-to-day -day life was like and what my life would be like then i would probably be very upset about being in jail for the rest of my life of course or prison i keep saying jail is prison if you're there for longer than a year it's prison right um, but I think that the beginning I would be if I was locked up, if you locked me up for a week, I would probably be wanting to cry just because I didn't know what the hell was happening. And by the time I finally understood what was happening, it'd be time to go. <laughs> uh, I can't I can't imagine it's been like even overnight in a place like that. I don't know. Look, do you know the guy who did the um uh the thirty day eat nothing but McDonald's? Yeah, Morgan Spurlock. Yeah. He when he did his show and one of them was he went to jail for 30 days. I didn't actually see that set of I of his TV did, show just because I watched all of his stuff. But I don't remember this. Do one. you think he went to a real jail? I don't remember now. I swear I've seen this. though. Um, he probably went to one of the lower, you know, lower tier jails. But you think it was a real I am in the of a real jail. I am doing everything the inmates are. He did a lot, a lot of the stuff he did was very serious. So I believe I believe he would do it. I just can't imagine that somebody is just going to be like, sure, come on in. <laughs> you mean like at the jail? Yeah. I bet they have stuff like that happen sometimes. I mean, that can be our next video series. I ain't. We just go to jail for a while. <laughs> I'm just gonna go to jail for a while. Yeah. Hope this pays the like, Guys, I want to come into your jail on one condition. We can bring video cameras. We can have confessionals. We have our own rooms. We have good meals. I mean, I don't think he a got free that. range. Uh, he what? I, said, I don't think he got all that. Well, that's what I want. I never saw it, so I, I kind of I don't want to bash it. But I, I, I just questioned if they. I really... don't remember now. I wish I could, but I definitely have seen exactly what you're talking about. But I've seen other, you know, there's other people that have done this sort of thing. Um, so this is not a this is not a new thing, and I bet they do get treated a little bit differently in multiple ways. I bet that you have the, um, the, 
the people kind of like the in the not the inmates, but he possibly even the inmates, but um the uh, the guards even playing stuff up to some degree, like hey you, what you doing? You know, kind of like even though they know it's just you know what I'm saying. They know you're not a criminal. Do you think so? I bet so. Or you think the guards are actually like leaving you alone because they know you're a criminal, so you're not somebody that they're focused on. I I mean I don't I don't think they're serious about it when they're like. Hey, you, what you doing? But I think, like, they might play that up a little bit more. Time for the rectal search. <laughs> I dyed two of those sheep up there red. Oh, did you? I was just, I was just getting a red dye. <laughs> I, just, I just finally got two of them. There's a whole sea of poppies over there on the other side of the silo. Uh, I uh, wanted to get my own because I'm just right. not going to get Free range. Yeah. Yeah, free free range. This is not about stealing other seeds. <clears throat> Horn flower. That's one of the new flowers. Huh, I don't know about that one. Azure bluette is a very white flower, which is weird because both azure what? I think it's azure blue azure bluette is gray dye. Huh. I mean, that's probably like a real thing. And people but azure means blue, and bluette is blue with a T. <laughs> so, I mean, not really sure <laughs> what this is supposed to mean here. All right. We have a lot more white than we do red. Oh, what were the, were there drawers or something now that we can There's make? There's barrels. Barrels. That's it. Barrels. Uh, how do you make a barrel? Barrel. It's just got some blanks. I want to do some of these because I want to see what they're like. I think the recipe is the same as it was in the photo. Planks on each side and then slap on the top. That the is bottom. what it seems to be. Actually, it's planks on their top and bottom. Oh, what's on the left or right then? So, planks. <clears throat> Sorry. It's slabs on the top and bottom. And yeah, that's what I said. And then planks on the left and right. Sure, if that's what you said. That is what I said. <laughs> I don't remember now. I heard it the other way. They don't do anything the barrel. in the chest, though. Well, I'm wondering if they can stack vertically, right? Maybe. No. No. Why did I think they could stack in some way? I don't know. Did they click them together? Hold on. I don't think so. I think they're just, they are just what they are. And what do people keep saying about shift cl right clicking in my inventory pulls everything? No, what they're I talking have. about, Jeff, is though that put that in your inventory. Okay. And then this is this has been the game since creative. But no, but don't don't have it in your hand. Middle middle okay. mouse click on that. It'll put it in your hand. On what? The barrel. Don't don't have the barrel in your hand. All right. Oh, that's all they meant. That's all they meant. Everybody keeps like giving me. They keep saying, oh, so it does pull it from my inventory, even if it's not in, yeah. it's in my. But that's but been in the game does... since, like, creative. It wasn't always available in survival. Okay. It was a creative only thing. And people are always yeah, like, so who I... doesn't even know about this? But the thing is, it's always been in creative, not survival. Um, and it's yeah, I didn't realize they really meant to that big click of a deal. on the block. I it's... thought they meant to click on the stack that you had in your hand, and it will pull the rest of it in to fill up the stack. So no. now I get it now. I run out of stone because I put a bunch of stone down, and then I right click uh, or middle click on the stone, and it'll pull it from him. Yeah, I get it. Now. It's not really the, okay. as big of a deal as people make it out to be. It is a little time saving, convenient. It is. I'm not I, saying I it's not. I can see some, but people act like I don't know. They discovered Jesus Christ or something. Well, that's like we're the idiots because we don't know about all these things that we should know about at all times. I mean, even that if I know about something, doesn't mean barrels... I always use it. That's the other thing. I thought these barrels really stacked to make double chests or something like that. No, if you want like to do that, make a chest. Well, I know vertically, though. Mm -mm. Yep, you're right. It's just, no, I'm just, mm -hmm. I know they that know. now. Hold up. These are our headboards. I don't know what the point of the barrels are, to be honest. To just look different? I guess. Maybe they'll have a use. Wait, put something in it. Does it? No, nah, no, nah, that wouldn't work. It's, there's no way it's going to work like a shulker box. Yeah, nope. No. <laughs> yeah. There, we have headboards. How's that? Yeah, cool. We can we store our, our nightly things in here. Our nightly things. 
nightly thing, so I don't know what else you put in your barrel that you keep at the top of your bed. Your headboard. Like is your headboard know. one that's got, like, bookshelves and shit in it? My headboard's a barrel. <laughs> no, I mean in real life. No, it is not. I mean, my old when I was growing up, because I was a cool kid, you know? Um, that was, but I've never had anything since like that. For the most part, I've never had a headboard. We have... My wife had bought a bed when we moved into our last place um, that did have one. And then, then we bought the bed that it, we upgraded to a king size bed. And it was the one that was in our house before we bought it. And it has a, uh, uh, a headboard. Uh, I guess the one we had bought that was in the room that you slept in had like a chintzier headboard. Like it was just, just it's just literally a headboard is all it is. It's not even like fancy looking. It's just a headboard. Yeah. But we haven't taken it apart because we just had the mattresses on the floor because as Jack's room now, we don't want it high off the floor. Ah, uh, I see. Makes sense. But for most of my life, I've just had a box spring or a Nikea like flat part and no headboards of any right. type. Which kind of works out well because a lot of times the headboard, it just blocks something that's behind you. You can easily put up like a poster or whatever. Like there's no real point of a headboard. When you have sex, the headboard like bounces and smacks into the wall if your bed's not secured together. That's true. So what's yeah, the point? screw your bed in better though, to the frame. I, well, but sometimes it's just a matter of it's older or they don't. Like the one that you were in didn't even have screws. It was a completely screwless frame. Huh? So if I'd had sex, it would just fall apart. Probably. I mean, it would have probably exploded. That's what happens. Like they just if screw this frame. If you invited explode. someone to your house and they just like hooked up with someone, would that that'd be pretty weird, right? Uh, I mean, if you didn't bring somebody, I know because no, because we had a like, party. Well, yeah. So okay, so that so would have been weird if I had up, met someone I, at your party if, and I just like brought them back to the room to in your house. Weird. So no, because it was people we know that are there. Uh, no, I don't know. I don't think so. Huh? See, I would have thought that would have been weird. If I if I had a party at my house and I had a friend like that would come out of state to hang out, and like he hooked up with one of my friends and they like stayed the night at my house, I don't know. I'd be I'd be like, wow, that that was weird. I don't know. I lived in a fraternity for a long time. I'm I wonder how to... Julie would have felt about it if I just the weird things. Uh, I guess it probably depends on which friend because most of the people. Oh that man, were there that were her like friends. I didn't think of the politics would come into it too. Yeah, well, because, you know, if it was a friend that, like, was in a relationship with somebody or was married to somebody, she probably would not be too happy. Well, I would um, try not to do that it, as well. It, 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 it depends, too much drama it depends on which friend. It depends on which friend. So, uh, the crazy one that slapped me. Uh, actually, I should have probably been like a oh, typical Nancy. <laughs> wow. Right, right when she slapped me, I just grabbed her hand and been like, "That's my fetish." She just took care <laughs> that's of her that's off. My girl. Yeah, you know how to turn me on. <laughs> and you guys whisk away upstairs. Yep, that would have actually been hilarious. I we would have both thought that was. Really uh, she she was known back, I, and it's it sounds so bad, but it's like I don't really care. Like nobody really cares. Before she's been in a serious relationship with some guy now for like multiple years, but before that, she was very well known for hooking up with random people at any place like she was very much um and not ashamed of it either which is why it's like okay like she slept with whoever she wanted to sleep with and she didn't give a shit like what mm. you thought about it right no okay. i only see one red sheep around where's this other so red that's sheep the thing in? i just died a second one because i had died two up there and one of them is just oh. i don't know where one of them went Wait. so i died I mean, a second over, one it was way over on the back side of the mountain here so you see three now because I've died. Oh, no, three I total. still only I still only see two, but because I died another because I couldn't find the the second of the two. Uh, you know, I still do only see two. I just bred them together so they have a baby, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. Because you can't do the red and the white because I'm like pink, right? Or is it a chance that they make I don't, pink? I don't actually know. I don't know if they'll make pink or if they'll make a red or white. It might be any of those three combinations, honestly. Babs has died 32 times. That is a lot of times. Granted, I don't know what she's gone through. Could be one of those death loops that you get stuck when you die and you wake up in a bed next to a bunch of zombies. That's true. I 
I feel like we I've bred a bunch of these sheep. There's a lot, a lot of just, sheep over there now. I just don't feel like I've, I see as many as I think that I should see. <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess they're all breedable again, though, so I just bred a bunch more. And this is really going to be like a Japanese rabbit island, but for all the animals. It's just going to be so compacted with animals that in a real-life situation, they'd all die of starvation. <laughs> right. I had a, a cow island like that in one of our seasons. That, uh, we saw a chicken pen like that when we were doing our surfer tour. True. So I know you've been coming over. Have you been actually transporting the wool over there? I am now for the first time. Oh, okay. I was going to say, because I don't see much from here, so I don't know how how much we'll actually need for like even a base layer of this. What is it going to take? I see I see a small structure going up as we speak. I wonder if we should build like a ship underneath uh there is a ship wreck right off of here, so that's kinda cool. That is kinda cool. We could light it up more. Oh, that's the thing. When you circle the uh stairs down, it should go down to maybe a little dock that we make. Oh, uh, that's a good idea. I've circled the stairs down now, by the way. Oh, I want to go over there. See it then. Hmm. Maybe this should go. Yeah, there is a ship like, literally right here. Wait, there's one over there too. There's one right. Tell you where it's at. Oh, I can see it. I think so there's, there's a bunch of them. Right yeah, there. there's several shipwrecks right here. That's actually really cool. I wonder if they've all been searched. Like, so there's one. Is this the one you were talking about? No, that's this, not even the one, one I was talking here. about. Whatever it's been searched. I the one I'm talking I about. So you're at that here. one. Can you see me up here? It's got a, an empty chest in it. So must there's have been a, searched. There's an animal coming for you. An animal. Yeah, I can see you. Okay. Do you see where I'm shooting? Yes. Oh, I thought you were shooting at the animal that was coming for me. Oh, oh that's where one. he came from there. Oh, no, I for, a well, further. I think I hit him. Uh, no, further out, Joe. The direction I'm going? Uh, More to your right. Turn right. Yeah, in that oh. direction you're going. You see it? Yeah. Yeah, I see it. That's closer to the main island. Oh, is it? I guess we can see the main island from up here, actually. Huh, I didn't realize we were that close. Yeah, that is, I mean, this is like, this isn't a wreck either. It's a, uh, uh, that's where that Silk Touch Villager is or whatever. That gave him a little home underwater? Yeah. Oh. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm I'm down here with him, or I see him. Let me see. He does amazingly. He can breathe. I guess it's not a silk touch at all, but he's got suspicious stews, golden carrots. What's that suspicious stew? I don't know. It sounds suspicious. Twenty-two carrots. He gets an emerald. He's been used up though. Four watermelon. Man, people have used up all his good trades for sure. Your root is the only one that's available still. Oh my god. I I just got forced into a nether portal that was under the water. That was the weirdest thing I have ever seen. That takes me to OMB Shad. Somehow there's a nether portal down there, and I tried to go up out of the house, but it forced me into this like side room, and pistons pushed me into another portal. Huh. Uh, when you go, it's like OMG Chad's another portal that pushes you into. I don't know if it's like the easy way to escape or what, but I 
That was really weird, though. I'm not sure how this is going to look. I'm just going to do it for now. We can sub later if we hate what it. The, you mean the, the stairs or the lighthouse itself? The lighthouse. Okay. I've already done the stairs, actually. It's originally what I came over to look at and then got distracted with all those shipwrecks. Even though there's really only one shipwreck. Coming from the back of it, it looks like a box. <laughs> yeah. I don't have enough red wool to... Yes, I'm going to have to play with it and kind of decide how it looks. Okay, I am back. All right. <laughs> stairs. Uh, There's your stairs. Stone stairs? Where'd they come from? It's over here. We need to get some definition on the stairs so they stand out in the uh I almost think they should be wood. Okay. Yeah. Just so they right. they stand yeah. out against the stone. Right. Yeah. <laughs> You're probably right. Yeah, that ship wreck, quote unquote, is definitely that villager thing. And yeah, that's the main land right there that you Yeah. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, um, we're a lot closer than than it feels like. Yeah, we we'll have to figure out how to do a spiral around this. And should it be wider at the bottom? It Look, should be wider at the bottom and kind of taper. Yeah, that's how they normally are, aren't they? But I'm also... I say that from a visual look of knowing what lighthouses look like. I have no idea how to transform that into Minecraft. <laughs> The ones I've seen in Minecraft normally do taper, like you said. We don't have a lot of room up here, though. It's okay. You can see the uh, sun rising through the ocean floor. <laughs> uh, typical Minecraft. <laughs> do you have a torch? Uh, yes. Throw one down up here somewhere. I don't know what I did with the one I... It was lighting up the center of this island. Um, all right. Well, we should probably end here. I think by next episode, we should be able to gather enough wool. I might get on and try to gather some wool and stuff in between episodes so we have resources to just build with. Um, but, yeah, I think we're, we're making progress. All right, guys. Well, we will see you next time.